In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up an email notification profile. An email notification profile is used to send the results of a form submission to a selected email address. To get started, right-click the form you wish to work with and choose Notification Profile. You can also access notification profiles and rules from within the form designer. In the Notification Profiles and Rules window, select Add Notifications Profile. The Notifications Profile wizard launches and will guide you through the process of setting up a notification profile. Select Next to move through the wizard. There are three types of notifications to choose from. A standard email notification sends a standard email to a recipient of your choice to notify them of each new form submission. Approval mode lets you set up a group of approvers that must approve each incoming submission before it gets recorded. The lookup recipients from alternate source option allows you to use a lookup table and various rules to look up the recipients for email delivery. In our example, we'll use a standard email notification. Give the profile notification a name. The mode option gives you the choice between standard and respondent update mode. Respondent update mode is only used when you're setting up a form that allows a user to return after their submission and edit their submission. In most cases, you'll simply want to use the standard mode. Enter the recipient's email address that will receive the form submission. If there are any PDFs to attach, they'll be listed here. Enter a from address and a from name. For the email subject, you are able to enter wildcards to personalize the subject line. Click the Launch Email Editor button to create your email. The editor can send HTML and text emails. We typically recommend using HTML, as the majority of email clients easily accept HTML. Within the editor, you can customize what will be received by the recipient. Unlike form mail and other solutions, you have complete control over the contents of the email. Use wildcards to personalize the email and insert values from the form. You'll often want to use Insert All Wildcards option to insert all the values into the email. This is a convenient way to capture all the information from the form. Of course, you can take your time and lay out the email any way you want. You can also insert your company logo in the email. Use the media library to select your company logo, or use one of our preloaded icons to include in the email. Highlight the icon you wish to use, and then click Use Selected. This inserts the logo into the editor. Select Save to save the email, and then Finish to finish the email notification profile. At this point, you may want to set up multiple profiles, and then use rules to control which one gets delivered. Select Add New Rule to create a rule. Give it a name, and select the profile that will be triggered when the rule is applicable. Then select the Edit Rule button to specify what the rule is. In this example, we're going to set up a rule when the city equals New York, the notification profile we specified will be sent. Select Save and Save again. You may want to set up multiple rules for different options and use different profiles for each one. Now you see how easy it is to set up a professional customized email notification profile and to set up any rules regarding those profiles.